nak? Awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum Jom kita revise sambil berehat Sambil berehat pun Kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula Hai semua Apa khabar? Boleh bantu saya tak? Macam ni Sekarang saya dah lambat Dan kereta saya rosak dan saya perlukan seorang untuk bantu saya tolak kereta saya ke kanan sejauh 5 meter sebab kedai workshop depan sana. Saya, saya. Saya boleh bantu. Okey. Ahmad nak bantu saya tolak kereta ke kanan sejauh 5 meter. Jadi katakan daya tolakan daripada Ahmad iaitu the external force F is equal to 100 newton to the right dan persoalannya adakah Ahmad melakukan kerja ke atas kereta itu? Ya betul. Kerja dilakukan ke atas kereta itu atau kita boleh cakap work is done on the car bila Ahmad menolak kereta itu ke kanan dengan force of 100 newton and the car moving to the right with displacement of 5 meter. Kita tengok pula situasi seterusnya. Jika sekarang saya ada Hafiz dan Hafiz cuba tolak dinding ini dengan daya yang sama dengan Ahmad tadi iaitu F equal to 100 newton. Tapi bila kita tengok, dinding ini tidak bergerak. So, S is equal to 0 meter. Tolak dinding dengan daya 100 newton tetapi dinding tidak bergerak. Persoalannya sekarang, adakah kerja telah dilakukan ke atas dinding itu? Betul. The answer is no. No work is done. Kenapa? Sedangkan Hafiz dan Ahmad kedua-duanya menolak sesuatu objek with an external force of 100 newton. Jadi jom kita tengok kembali dan revise semula what is the definition of work. So remember, work is defined as the scalar product between force and displacement of a body. So the equation of work is W equal to F. S cos theta and theta is the angle between force and displacement. Jadi kalau Hafiz tolak dinding tersebut dan dinding itu tidak bergerak, so S equal to zero, therefore W equal to zero. Kalau objek tidak bergerak, that's mean no work is done on that object. Work is only done when displacement occurs. Boleh? Okay, very good. Ini pula adalah faktor yang boleh menyebabkan work done on an object is equal to zero. W is equal to zero when the first one when S is equal to zero. 
means that no displacement. Second, when force F is equal to zero, means that the net force is equal to zero. And the last one, when the angle between the force and the displacement is equal to 90 degree. Jadi, kita boleh tengok pada equation W, since W is equal to Fs cos theta, so W is directly proportional to F and S. Jadi, kalau nilai S is 0, so W will be 0. And F is 0, W also equal to 0. And when the angle S and F is 90 degree, so cos 90 degree, bila you tekan calculator, you akan dapat nilai 0. Therefore, work will equal to 0 when S equal to 0 meter, F is equal to 0 or the angle between F and S is 90 degree. Boleh. Dan seterusnya, kita akan recall sign for work done. So, work can be positive value and negative value. So, the work done will be positive value when the work is bigger than 0 joule and it will be negative value when the value of work is less than 0 joule. Jadi, positive value means that work done on the system. Maksudnya apa? Energy is transferred to the system. Maknanya work done on the system so that the energy is transferred to the system. So, kalau kita tengok pada angle between the force and S, kita akan lihat the value of work would be positive when the angle between force and displacement is bigger or equal 0 degree and less than 90 degree. Contoh kita ada kotak, kita tolak ke kiri and we put an external force to the left. So, what happened to the box? Kotak itu akan bergerak ke kiri. So, since F and S is parallel to the left, so that the angle is equal to 0 degree. Seterusnya adalah when W equal to negative value. Means that work done by the system. For example, work done by the system to against friction. Maksudnya, energy is transferred from the system to the surrounding to against frictional force. Dan nilai work akan jadi negatif bila angle between F and S adalah bigger or equal than 90 degree or less than 180 degree. Perhatikan gambar ini. Tadi awak nak tolak kotak ke kiri kan? So, let's say we have a frictional force between the surface and the box. And the direction of the frictional force is opposite direction with the motion. Kotak nak bergerak ke kiri, but frictional force is to the right. So, the angle between friction and displacement S would be 180 degree. So, cos 180 degree akan berikan awak nilai negatif. So, means that work done by the system to against friction. Energy is transferred from the system to the surrounding. Okay, jom kita pergi kepada soalan seterusnya. How to calculate total work done on the system? So, di sini saya akan tunjukkan dua cara bagaimana untuk awak selesaikan masalah ini. Contohnya, kita ada sebiji buku. So, we put an external force to the right which is 5 newton. And at the same time, there is a frictional force to the left which is 1.6 newton. And the book will move to the right with displacement of 1.5 meter. Kita tengok pada contoh yang pertama di mana kita nak kira total work done on the system is equal to total work done by the external force plus total work done by the frictional force. So, kita boleh kira asing-asing dan kita tambahkan mereka. Ataupun kita nak guna cara yang kedua in order to calculate the total work done ataupun kita panggil net work and it is equal to net force times displacement cos 0 degree. So, cos 0 is equal to 1. Nanti kejap lagi saya akan tunjuk kenapa angle dia adalah 0 degree. Jadi sekarang kita mulakan dulu dengan method yang pertama which is we want to calculate the work done by the external force F. So, the equation WF equal to Fs cos theta. So, kita lukis dulu the direction of displacement to the right and the direction of force also to the right. 
Therefore, the angle between F and S is equal to 0 degree. So, let's substitute in this equation. So, kita akan dapat the work done by the external force is equal to 7.5 Joule. Dan yang kedua, the work done by the frictional force F. So, equation WF is equal to small f S cos theta. So, let's draw the direction of S is to the right but the direction of the frictional force is to the left. So, angle between F and S is 180 degree. So, jom kita substitute dalam equation. And finally, the work done by the frictional force would be equal to negative 2.40 Joule. Remember, work is a scalar quantity. So, positive and negative value of work is not the direction. Ingat ya, work is a scalar quantity the other direction. Jadi, negative value means that energy is transferred from the system to the surrounding to overcome frictional force. Okay? Bukan direction. Dan sekarang kita dah boleh kira total work done where we need to total up work done by the external force and the work done by the frictional force. And finally, the answer of total work done is equal to 5.10 Joule. Untuk method yang kedua, we need to calculate first what is the net force on the book. Kita lukis dulu, we have the external force F to the right and then we're going to have frictional force which is opposite direction. Dan buku ini akan bergerak ke kanan. So remember chapter 4. So now let's look at all the forces in X component. So F net we can write as external force F plus negative friction. Okay. So this is the value of the net force is equal to 3.4 Newton. Kita boleh kira siap-siap dia punya net force. And then we can substitute in the equation of the total work done is equal to W net is equal to F net S cos theta. Okay. So remember the direction since the displacement is to the right and the value of the net force also positive means that to the right. So the angle between F net and S is equal to 0 degree. Okay. So let's substitute in this equation. So, we will get the answer of the total work done is equal to 5.10 Joule. Jadi, bila kita tengok jawapan ini, jawapannya adalah sama dengan cara yang pertama tadi. Jadi, di sini tengok kepada work done by the external force is positive 7.50 Joule and work done by the frictional force is negative 2.40 Joule. Okay, so remember kerja ada nilai positif atau negatif disebabkan energy is transferred to the system ataupun energy is transferred from the system kerana work bukan vector quantity dia adalah scalar quantity okey seterusnya apa yang paling penting untuk awak ingat adalah graph of force against displacement Jadi bila kita ada soalan bagi kita graph force against displacement, always remember that we can calculate the work done by calculating the area under the force displacement graph. Okay? Dan yang terakhir sekali, kita nak recall what is the relationship between work and the change of kinetic energy. Okay. Cuba lihat contoh ini, kita ada sebuah kotak and let's say the initial of velocity is u and then there is an external force that will push the box to the right dan kotak itu akan mula bergerak sehingga displacement of s dan kotak itu akan mula bergerak and it will have v which is final velocity so remember when there is a change in velocity means that acceleration is not equal to zero so, kotak itu bergerak. So, dia ada final velocity and then dia ada initial velocity. So, there is an acceleration of the box. Jadi, jom kita tulis equation based on chapter 4. Total force is equal to F net. So, bila ada daya bersih, kotak itu akan bergerak to the right with an acceleration of A. 
So we can write F net is equal to MA. So kita recall balik equation from chapter 2. V squared equal to U squared plus 2AS. A is equal to V squared minus U squared over 2S. And then we will substitute this equation of A in equation of F net. So finally, kita pindahkan dulu S ke kiri. Kita akan dapat satu equation baru. F net S half MV squared minus half MU squared. And remember, half MV squared adalah final kinetic energy and half MU squared adalah initial kinetic energy. And remember, F net S adalah work. Ingat lagi kan formula work. Therefore, we can write that W is equal to delta K. So, since KF minus KI, KF minus KI kita panggil sebagai change of kinetic energy. Jadi, dekat sini kita boleh nampak relationship between work and change of kinetic energy dan kita panggil dia sebagai work energy theorem. Jom kita recall definition of work energy theorem states that the work done by the net force on a body equals to the change in the body's kinetic energy. Boleh? Bila ada perubahan kinetic energy, so maknanya there is a work done on the system. Jadi saya rasa sampai di sini saja. Kalau nak lagi faham, saya rasa kita perlu buat more examples in the next video. Tapi sebelum tu saya ada satu pesanan dekat awak iaitu ha, tengok kucing ni. So pesanan saya adalah jangan malas. Okey itu saja. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. Jumpa lagi.